All right, guys, we are doing another beer and booze pickup finally. You guys have been asking for it. So we are at the Total Wine um, in Springhurst, Kentucky. Uh, it's in Louisville, Springhurst is the area. Some 1.75, so some Jack Daniels for 40 bucks, not too bad. 750 mil for 18, that doesn't really make much sense, but okay. Some Woodford over here. Really good price for Woodford. So I want to point out that this store, it's, it was the first Total Wine in Kentucky. Um, this one actually, um, we got here, it's a Sunday, we got here two minutes before they opened. I kid you not, there was like a lot of like 40 or 50 people um, waiting in line to get into this Total Wine. Um, like I said, this is one of the nicer ones. Uh, I don't get out this way very often because again, it's in a fancy part of town. It's kind of far away. I don't know much about the wine section. I'm just kind of showing you guys. Um, we're going to try to get some more of these beer uh, shopping videos up, but it takes a lot of time and it's hard to find stores that we haven't been to before. Here's some of the really high end stuff. It's a $1,500 bottle of wine right there. As you can tell why it's the high end store. Our other wine has high end wines, but I don't think they have too many $1,500 bottles of wine. That's for show. I'm not gonna spend, like I said, a lot of time in the wine section just cause you know it's not our thing, but I will show you guys some stuff. I'm honestly assuming that there was such a big line here earlier, probably because of um, bourbon. There's always some bourbon that's coming out. It's hard to get that you have to get your first thing to get it. It's crazy. And I'm a little rusty on these guys. It's been almost over a year and a half since I've done one of these. So excuse my uh, voice and <coughs> the uh, shaky camera. All right, again, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go down all these aisles of the wine section. I'm gonna walk by them so you guys can just see the sheer amount of wine they have. Um, and then we're gonna start hitting up uh, some of the other uh, uh, bar sections of so the beer and bourbon and stuff. They even have a uh, tasting room here where they do classes and stuff. It's always pretty cool. All right, more wine. This is pretty cool. It's like a cocktail maker. I have to contact the company and see if they'll send us one for a supply. And the wine is uh, never ending at this store. It's like crazy. Red R's uh, personal favorite wine. Saranac. Saranac makes really good beers. Uh, interestingly enough, though, we cannot get their beers in Kentucky, um, but we can get their sodas. There's an Abita root beer. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, we can get their lemonade and Dodge ginger ale and all that stuff, but we cannot get their beers. And they do make good beers. It just sucks that we can't get them here. Onto the liqueur section right here. A bunch of higher end stuff. Again, this store has a lot of the higher end stuff as opposed to what I'm used to. Um, now we're, as I say that, here is the Burnett's right afterwards. Some of the lower end vodkas. 
some Everclear down there. It was some classic club bike, you know, that's good stuff. Strock, typical Strock prices, $30 for the flavor, they're basic right there. Some deep eddies, which is pretty decent. I, in my opinion, better than Ciroc as far as the flavors go. Some Crystal Head, it's all right. It is a little gimmicky, but it's not bad vodka. Belvedere up there. In the higher end Belvedere. I don't think I've seen that one. The Forest. Over here is their, their featured section in the middle of the house here. Some tropical mango tequila. It's pretty interesting. I don't think I've heard of that brand, but it's only 25 bucks. Um, too much, but I will show you this section over here. This is the gin. Again, this store is a pretty good selection of gin. The new thing right now is flavor gins are coming out. I'm like, Tangeray's got an orange now. We're gonna get into that at some point. Um, and I think there's a lot of berry flavored gins coming out. A lot of these pink gins. I don't know exactly what flavor the pink ones are supposed to be. That one's grapefruit, but I don't know about this one. It just says pink gin. part two if you're into that mm, it's peppy down there it's actually kind of hot for peppy 15 bucks i don't know if i'd pay that much for peppy lopez sorry the store's got a lot of people in it so if you see the bad camera angles i can't do anything about it interesting There's a, there's a few other tequilas we want to get, including this is one of the last ones we want to try before we do our big tequila video. Uh, once we pick that up, right now money is, that's a little bit out of our price range. Right now, uh, after we finish that one, we're going to do a big video on silver tequila.
experience. When I was in North and South Carolina, a lot of this stuff, like we see here that's regular for us, is not regular in other states. Like old granddad here, or you won't see a lot of this stuff in other states, but we take it for granted here because we have it available, you know, all the time. It's like Makers is never a hard thing to find. Neither is Buffalo Trace, stuff like that. not worth the money for sure went to there i actually did a tasting there um it was just not good at all those are ice cubes they're actually selling ice cubes for eight dollars that's a that's a real thing eight dollar ice cubes kentucky straight ice because you need that that's something i'm interested in trying right there that Knob Creek single barrel select, that one will probably be great. And the new Lou stuff. I'd like to try some of this Colorado whiskey sometimes. I hear good things about it, but I've met one of their head uh, distillers. Seemed like a nice guy. Uh, he brews for, or he distills for Metallica's uh, Blackened Whiskey now, but he used to distill at Stranahan's. Bullet single barrel. Again, a lot of these are new. Um, I know, like I said, the uh, some of these are new. I know the total one by me, the closer one, doesn't have a lot of this stuff. There are four roses. Here are some brothers. See that one around pretty frequently. Some Hubers. So Hubers is actually a um, Indiana. It's a farm in Indiana. And they started out like they, you have like a pumpkin patch thing going on. You can go pick fresh strawberries and blackberries and apples and all that. And they started making wine. They've been making wine for actually 20 or so years, but they recently started doing these uh, bourbons and stuff. So I don't know if they actually, I'm assuming they're probably contracting them. There's no way they have room to actually make them themselves, but um, I haven't had them. So I don't know if they're any good. I, I, I can't justify paying $70 for a bourbon that might be might be good it's kind of a gamble Kentucky Walker it's an $11 bottle that would be an interesting one to try some Woodford Double Oak right there special edition Double Oak Woodford dollars more than that I'm both double loaded but that's a special batch I'm skipping a few sections here but uh, there's just too many people in the store for me to do do ever do it all justice I mean there's so like I said it's a pack but uh, some schnapps not a bad price on schnapps triple site oh so they do have the Alan Pucker Pick up a bottle of that for a live stream. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not picking up uh, a ton of stuff today um, just because my budget's limited, but I'm mostly here to do a video for you guys and then pick up a few beers um, for later. We actually have quite a backlog of alcohol to review for you guys. We just haven't got around to doing it.
chocolate turtle version of this. It's actually really good that I've had. It's a whiskey cream. I don't think I see the chocolate turtle, but it's a peanut butter cup too. That'd probably be pretty good. they have Samuel Adams out. We got the 28 packs for Oktoberfests. 30 bucks, not too bad. I think I will pick me up a six pack of that. We've got plenty of kegs back here. So I'm not gonna go crazy back here. Here's all your kegs and stuff. Um, so the way it works is they have, so they keep some, like some are ready and available to go. Um, but you can actually order just about any keg you want. Ooh, cut cute water, or cut water makes them some. There's a popsicle. You can actually order whatever you want, and they'll send them. What the hell is that? Oh, so they're selling Pedialyte relabeled, because that is exactly what that is. It says compared to Pedialyte on it. That's hilarious.
It's a new little Kings. Recommend it if you're looking for an easy night drinker. Pretty good. The Raging Eagle in cases. It's Mango Orchard. There's supposed to be a new one. I think that might be at the Peach Mango somebody was talking about. Though I'm not ready to dedicate myself to the entire case. Looks like Kona has their own seltzers. That's new. Though we've uh, decided to limit our seltzer uh, videos to two a month, and we are sticking to that. So Cider Guys, which is Ryan Guys, they're Cincinnati Brewery. They make some killer, killer beers. I love their brewery, and their ciders are even better. I think as far as ciders go, they do some of the best on the market, better than your Angry Orchards or Woodchucks or anything like that. There's more terrapin beers, which I normally don't see. Which is a good time. Alright guys, well I'm gonna cut it here. This store is getting pretty packed and having a trouble filming, so I'll see you guys later. I hope you like this video. If there's something you've seen and you want to see us review, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.